Hello there guys, it's SuperGT here and welcome to my Silverstone prediction video. So obviously the F1 is back in Great Britain and we are rocking the Silverstone circuit this weekend. And here are my predictions for the race. Now obviously I am bringing these predictions out before the qualifying so this could change quite drastically like it did in Austria. I mean some of these guys might not qualify near the front so they might not finish in these positions or might not be close at all. But anyway, let's start with the winner. So I've gone with Lewis Hamilton. I think he will win his home race at Silverstone. He missed out at Monaco, his, his adopted home, if you want to call it that. And obviously he will have a burning desire to beat Rosberg at his home track. He did it last year, but Rosberg had a retirement last year, so he'd like to do it in a genuine battle with him, which would be pretty cool for the British fans. So I put Rosberg in second... I still think that the Mercedes is the fastest car and I think they'll be able to beat the Ferraris quite convincingly. The, the The challenge didn't really arise from Ferrari at Austria, which I thought it would, but it didn't. So I, I'm going to put Ferrari going third and fourth. Uh, Vettel on the final step of the podium, just ahead of Raikkonen. And below them two, I'll put the two Williams. Bottas follow, followed by Felipe Massa. And then Roman Grosjean in 7th. I think the Lotus is looking pretty tidy now. And Hulkenberg in 8th. He had a good run in Austria, finishing 6th. Pastor Maldonado in ninth. He's been going quite well recently. And if he can finish the race without crashing, then he should be able to get some points. And Max Verstappen, I've gone for the final points paying position. Now for the pole position, I've gone for Rosberg. He's been a bit stronger in practice so far. And he's actually been... Well, as history proves, even last year, he he's good for qualifying. So I'm going to put him on pole, but I'm going to I'm going to put Lewis Hamilton for the fastest lap. At some point, he's going to try and reel in Rosberg and get past him. And then for positions gained, I put Gaviria. Now for the positions gained, it's quite an interesting one because normally positions gained means you have to start quite far back and then gain your positions. So I mean, obviously Lewis Hamilton or Nico Rosberg, someone near the front isn't going to gain many positions, only one or two at most. So normally you're relying on people to have a bad qualifying session, but in a decent car. I know the Red Bull isn't the best car, but I mean, if, if Kvyat qualifies quite near the back, then there's a good chance that he might gain the most positions. I, I, I was going to go for Alonso, but you just never know with the McLaren whether it's going to finish. Ob obviously... I keep saying obviously, but it is so obvious that their car is so bad, the McLaren. They they have no speed. They're, they're going to qualify near the back, but you just don't know if they're going to finish. That's that's the main thing. So there we go. Let me know what you think on those predictions, and we're going to go quickly to the leagues, my Super GT league, and see how that's going. So here we are. We've got Anthony Kerr up, up ahead in 509 points. And Dominic Bond still up near the top as well, 496, so 13 points behind. And I'm 11 behind. And I am in third, 11 behind Dominic. Sasha in fourth. Down the bottom, Jordan Berry 230. But the thing I would say with this, if you nail a prediction, if you get all 10 right, you're going to go straight from the bottom to the top. I can tell you, the the bonus point system for this is ridiculously. Well, I say bias, but if you get them all right, you're going to get so many points and you're just going to go right up there. So you only rely on you getting one really good week and you can really climb from the bottom to the top quite quickly. So those are my thoughts on the Silverstone Grand Prix. So of course, again, let me know what you think is going to happen as always. And before I go, I just have one quick question for you, or actually for Lewis Hamilton, and that is, what the hell are you wearing on your face? What is that all about? But anyway, I hope you have enjoyed the video, guys. I hope to see you next time for my next video. And hopefully the race will be a good one. See you next time. Thank you for watching.